Hi, my name is Deb. I'm the marketing director with Campus Dining. And I talk with you just a few minutes about the options that your student will have for food at Grand Valley. The first thing I want to say to you is we recognize that as a commuting student, there are different ways in which you get familiar with campus and become part of the Laker community. And I think we all understand that people gather around food. It's kind of just a, it's just really an automatic way to meet people and to interact with your peers. Dining on campus is really important to that experience. It's also a great way to keep your parking spot and conserve some time. So we have 22 dining locations around campus. Your student is welcome in all of them. That's right, you don't have to have a meal plan to eat on campus. Many of our locations provide very comfortable seating. So even if you choose not to purchase a meal plan and if your student is bringing food from home, they are welcome to come in and dine with their peers. Something I would encourage you to do if your student chooses to bring food from home is to look for the places where we have microwaves that they can use. Not all locations have microwaves. They are in key locations, so have your student get familiar with that. We have 22 restaurants, coffee shops, convenience stores, and concessions available for students. If your student's interested in a meal plan, and we do have a lot of commuters who are, you can find details at gvsufood.com. Some of the reasons ch students choose to get a meal plan is because it's just convenient to have one. Sometimes students have some remaining financial aid and that can be applied toward a meal plan. Students who are using meal plans get greater purchasing power because they're not being charged the 6% sales tax. Also, transaction times are faster, and you don't have to worry about carrying your own cash, credit, or debit because meal plans are accessed by the barcode on the back of your student ID. Meal plans are a great way to also teach budgeting. Students can take a look at their balances and track their spending at gvsufood.com or by using the GV mobile app. When you're thinking about a meal plan, consider your student's schedule. Consider the time that they'll arrive on campus and how much of the day they'll spend on campus. Will they have a job? Will they be involved in extracurriculars? What gaps in their schedule will they have to make time for food? Another little important note, if your student wants to work, we employ over a thousand students on campus in campus dining. And in addition to your hourly wage, you also earn a free meal for every four hours worked. If you're interested in meal plans, there are 10 options available. I would encourage you to look at gvsufood.com for details and figure out which plan is best for your student. There are two components to meal plans. Meals, they can purchase combos at other restaurants and convenience stores around campus. We have something called the combo cheat sheet this is available at registers in the fall. It's also available online if you want to take a peek at that. Like most places, a combo typically includes an entree, a side, and a beverage. The second component of the meal plan are dining dollars. Dining dollars are a debit account specific to food purchases on both the Allendale and Grand Rapids campuses. Dining dollars can also be tracked, as I mentioned earlier, with the meals on gvsufood.com or the GV mobile app. When you're purchasing a plan, I would recommend that you auto-enroll in the winter semester as well. And the reason I say that is there's no danger in doing that. If your student decides they want a different meal plan, or even if they want to cancel their plan for winter semester, they can do that in early January with no financial penalty whatsoever. Something to know about dining dollars. Dining dollars will roll over from the fall semester to the winter semester if your student has a balance remaining. So when they return in January, that balance would be available for them to use in the winter semester. That would be added to any additional funds that they would be getting in a plan for the winter semester. Plans are activated on Monday, August 24, which is the week before classes start. 
So if your student's on campus to purchase books or maybe to walk their schedule and get familiar with their routine, they are welcome to start dining and using it at that time. But if your student is someone who would rather kind of get the academic year started, fall into a routine and see what their true needs are, that's also all right. You can purchase a meal plan at any time, two weeks after the academic year starts, four weeks, however it works for you. There are several resources available in campus dining which your student has access to. If your student has food allergies and has questions about navigating food options on campus, or if your student is a vegan or vegetarian, or maybe even has other dietary needs, I would encourage you to look at gvsufood.com. We have an allergen guidebook and also a guidebook for vegans and vegetarians. We also have a registered dietitian available who will consult with students one-on-one. -on -one. That consultation is free. So if you have concerns about dining on campus, you can start a conversation with Megan Ponky, our registered dietitian, via email or phone prior to the school year even starting. I would encourage you to look at gvsufood.com for further information. You can also email us if you have specific questions. It's at gvsufood at gvsu.edu. Or you can call us if phone is the way that you'd like to go. You can reach us at 616-331-3016. Welcome to the Laker family. We look forward to seeing your student in the fall.